Hey, what's up guys? So I am Pauly and I'm gonna go over a little bit of my workflow with the MPC and the Akai Force and uh, how I kind of use them together. I've had so much fun uh, messing with the uh, MPCX over the last like year and a half. I've gone through just about every button on here except for these little number pads and stuff like that, which we'll get into that. But uh, really, I want to take the drums from here and play them into my Kai Force. I'm going to use uh, an Akai 49 keyboard hooked up USB to control my notes that I'm going to put in here. Uh, and other than that, I'm going to start zooming in and showing you guys what I'm going to do and I hope it all comes out good. Uh, another thing is, it's not my typical time of day that I get to make music, so the energy is going to be a little bit different. And and I was kind of thinking about that. I was like, you know, if you do something, it's just like going to work. If you work the evening shift for the last year and a half, and then all of a sudden you work the morning shift, you're like, man, what do you guys do in the morning shift? It just seems different is what I'm saying. So that's kind of where I'm getting at, a little different time frame right now. It's dark outside, but I have these lights lighting this thing. If I turn them off, it'd be pitch black in here. So let's have some fun, guys. I'm going to get get right to it. All right, guys. So this is the advanced uh, 49 keyboard that I'm gonna be using with this. The pads don't really match up with the MPCX, okay? Uh, they do justice, but it's just like tapping on plastic. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, they only go down about mm, that much. The MPC probably gives you that much of give. So that's what I'm gonna be using for uh, my Akai Force. And what I really like about this is that you can really get in here and it's doll friendly it's ready you hook this up to your doll and it's ready you don't have to worry about anything let's move on all right so cool on the mpc i'm going to use my acoustic fat kit it's the first one that pops up go to my folder you see my sync is off I'm going to turn that to Ableton Link. Cool. Los Mismo. On the same thing on the uh, Akai Professional. Force. Off. Ableton Link. Cool. Now what we're going to do is go to the computer. It's not going to pair up with Ableton. I do own this Ableton, so I'm not worried about all that uh, stuff. Now I hit this. Check this out real quick. You see there's nothing going on. Nothing going on. It says zero links. See that? Zero links. As soon as I hit this link button, bam, two links. See that? All right. So now you know what that means. It's time to go to your mixer and add your stuff uh, what I do for this here really I'll show you real quick but it's been out long enough I hit advanced and for drums I'm not going to use drums I'm going to use plugins and I'm going to hit 7 see that do it again Hit add, advanced, plugin, seven. Do it. Now I got all my plugins, right? I'll put you guys here on a tripod, I'm sorry. But uh, 
Yeah, so now I can just hit these real fast under my uh, menu. Track edit. Now I can just go like this. Track four, I want what sound? You change it. Track five, you want this sound. Track six, it goes to default on each one. So you just scroll through, get some random sounds. Cool. Let's make some music. So I was going to start real quick. But let me show you this trick real fast. This saves a lot of time for you guys. Freaking truck or something. Anyway, uh, when you have all your plugins and everything like that, what the? Yeah, be kidding me, right? Anyway, when you have all of these all your plugins and everything set, right? Uh, if you hit launch a note at the same time, it'll let you select these squares instead of having to, like say you want to record on this. You don't have to touch your screen all the time to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go outside and whoop somebody. Uh, I mean, help somebody turn their car off. I'll be right back. Some people, whenever they select a track, it's like, I wish I had an auto punch. I just set mine on overdub. I walk away.
so you know other than that we had a Harley Davidson startup and all kinds of rattling and stuff going on but we ended up making a pretty cool little whatever you know crap beat but most of the time uh, in background music and stuff like that they're only gonna use 30 seconds of probably your drum loop that he used in the song anyway so put it out there anyway don't let it sit in here <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is the easy part is we know we like these parts say this is my hook here or these are the parts that I want I'm just gonna show you at random real quick uh, I'm gonna hit my copy button first I'm in launch mode hit my copy for this one first I'm gonna have it play on that on this on these here this one here is my drums cool just that random okay I'm just gonna decorate this here like this for you guys just to show you how easy it is to get different parts and what I really think is cool is that I can bring this back in here without the drums because it's so fast to create um, create on this uh, and then you can just take out the drums put it right back into your MPC and make some hip-hop you know what I mean if you really want to uh, get into that uh, that that culture man uh, it's taking what you got as a good song and it's like oh cool that's a cool song no it ain't when you put it back in here and you chop it up on the MPC it comes out to be something totally different and that's hip-hop man with some nice drums and not too much 808 but let's play this back and see what we got here and then I'm gonna wrap this up guys again if you're new to the channel uh, I'm Pauly and I go over all kinds of different ways to make music and I'm trying to better my quality of video so any suggestions or anything like that uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments below but let's go ahead and hit play here and see what we got let's launch this let's launch this second clip here That sounds kind of cool, actually. I mean, for being a bust out. I don't like that name. I just turn it down. Let's go to this one. What I mean by being the hook or whatever, man, I don't like that. One of the freaking coolest sounds on this thing is the piano. Anyway, guys. What I'm saying is if you take the drums out of here, let's say let's delete the drums out of this clip okay and we don't want we're, we're like man we really like the way this one sounds for like an intro you know what I mean look I like that one <laughs> That's kind of cool, nice and laid back. It's kind of cool, kind of gives it a little build. I 
I think it's dope. I have so much fun with this. And what's really cool, guys, is... I don't know what's playing right now. Okay. Uh, like I say, if you're into sampling records or sampling anything like that, you saw how fast it was just to create something on here. That's not even using... It's really touchy. Uh, but... You can use, yeah, I use a keyboard because I play keyboard, and this is cool too to have a different workflow and everything like that. But to take these sounds and say on your MPC for sequence one, you want this, just launch one. For sequence two, you want this. You know, that's very powerful, man. It's very fast, and you can build one project on here while this one's playing and kind of juggle them back and forth. So I think that is just really, really really dope. Um, again, I'm Poi Popo, and I hope you guys got a little value out of this video. Like I said, leave something in the comments below for me to answer, or if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to make a video for you. Or if you really need help, man, try to get a hold of me, uh, leave a message, and we can do a Google Hangout session or something like that if need be. But this is supposed to be fun, and it is fun, man. You just gotta stick with it, and you know, just it's it's really easy. One thing that I did, I loaded up some of the demo projects to see how they laid them out, and they laid them out the same way. So I would definitely recommend doing that too. Right on. I will holler at you guys later.